He's making a chocolate mustache. Mm -hmm. I found mm -hmm. Jennifer with the mustache. Oh, yeah. Um, Keep it mute. Why? It's okay. Mustache is not here now. And possibly everyone's keeping on mute. On, on, Unmute. Un unmute. See? Now everyone's quiet, but can't speak. But she's trying to break the chocolate. She's licking the bread, just like you do. You lick chocolate bread. Palavit, Madhav, Sudevi, Kushita. Kushita, we are waiting for your presentation this weekend. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mataji, this is Sudevi. Hare Krishna, dear kids. Welcome to the class. No, it's on Sunday. Thank you everyone for joining. So, I will give a chance to each and every one to chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra. First, Janavi, you are eating, okay? Hare Krishna, Mata, first. Mata, go ahead and chant the rest of me. Mia, 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 Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Just loudly put loudly loudly sing Rama Rama Hare Hare Sing Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Very good, Madhav. I see Janavi raised her hand. Janavi, go ahead. And then me. Janavi and Brenda can together go. Oh, yeah. Hare Krishna. Janavi, together. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hey, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Janavi also did very good job, Brinda. Thank you. Then now, uh, the new kid I can see here. Can you uh, unmute and chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra for me and tell me your name also? Kiran. Kyren? Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, Kyren, please go ahead and chant Hare Krishna for me. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama very good. Now our Mataji is here with us. We will hand over the call to her. Along, along with her, you all can um, chant. Mataji. Mataji. Hare Krishna, kids. Mataji, I will give you the Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Mataji. This is Vrinda. Hare Krishna, Mataji. This is Madhav. Hare Krishna, Madhav. Hare Krishna, Vrinda. Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Krishna
We're going to start our class with Sri Guru Pranam Mantra. It's on your screen, and we're going to do that together, followed by Hare Krishna Maha Mantra 11 times. So let's do that together. Yeah, we can start now. For her to complete, Mataji, she's so sweet. <laughs> so I wanted to complete. I wanted her to complete. Very beautiful. Hare <laughs> Rama. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. No, Ma Mataji, in the group, she is singing in a loud voice. <laughs> no, that's very nice, and her voice is very prominent and very sweet. So really, just let her. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you, Mother. She just uh, two years, four months old only. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. That's just amazing. Four years. No, I'm I'm so glad that at, at this tender age she is so much interested in um you know hearing about Krishna. Like uh, without coordination, okay, life should be. No, that's fine, Mother. Just don't stop. Let her be. It's okay. okay. Thank you. She, she is very sweet. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. Do you have a moral story? Deepak. 
Are you having a moral story, Motaji? Um, because That's what I'm saying. So, kids, now is the time to read a moral story. You know the drill, right? You know what we're going to do. So, I'm going to read the story and then we will talk about what we learned. Mataji, is this Parishram story? Mataji, this is Shubhadra asking. No, it's not. It is not. Come on. The moment you see Lord Shiva, it's not. Uh, yeah, the moment you see Lord Shiva, it's not Parishuram, okay? <laughs> All okay. right, so let's see. See, the story is all about Bhagupad. The story says it here. Okay, don't get confused. It's all right. And the end of the story. So pay attention. End of the story, we're gonna talk about each other's realizations. Okay. I know. I I think I know this story. You know it. Okay. So let's hear it one more time. I heard this story a lot of times. Okay, so today's story is all about Bhagupad. So let's get started. Okay, it's a short story, but an interesting one. All right, so one of the times, once upon a time, that's how our story starts. How can I forget that? Once upon a time, on the shore of River Saraswati, a discussion among a group of sages was happening. And what was the discussion about? They all were discussing out of three chief lords. Who are the three chief lords? Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. Out of all these three chief lords, who is the greatest? And that was a discussion happening among all these great sages there. <clears throat> all right. So they deputed this work to Bragumuni to investigate the matter. So they asked him to find out who the greatest is. And then Bragumuni started thinking, um, how can I find this out? I mean, what is the best way to, you know, get this information or do this, uh, you know, research? Then he started thinking that, I will test the Lord's tolerance. So for that quality is sure of the greatness. So any Lord out of these three is tolerant enough, tolerant enough is, the, um, is the greatest of all because that is, um, tolerance is a great, great quality. All right, that what he did is, first of all, he entered the court, court of Lord Brahma, who was his father, right? So without offering him any respect, he just entered the court without paying any obeisances. And then Lord Brahma is thinking, oh, he is so disrespectful. But Lord Brahma didn't say anything. He just kept quiet. Why? Because Bragumuni was his son. So he didn't want to say anything to him in the court, but he wasn't very happy about that. Okay, so then Bragumuni just walked off. He knew that Lord Brahma is very, very angry with him right now because he just did not pay, pay his obeisances to him. So he's angry. It is better that he does not stay there any longer. But he realized that Brahma, Lord Brahma is definitely angry with him. <clears throat> okay, so next he went to Lord Shiva. And then who is his, his brother? And Lord Shiva, immediately he, he saw Bhragumuni and he was so excited. So he started walking towards him um, <clears throat> to embrace him. And he said, oh, my brother, I am so happy to see you. Let me embrace you. But, but Bhagumini kind of humiliated him, saying that, no, no, you are a deviant heretic. No, I don't want, to, um, don't want you to embrace me. After hearing this, my God, Bhagumini rejected the embrace. So Lord Shiva became very angry. He became very, very angry and see what he's doing. Mm, he was very angry. So he wanted to kill Bhragu Muni with his trident. So when he's trying to approach Bhragu Muni, Goddess Parvati actually came in between and she pacified her husband. And meanwhile, Bhragu Muni left Kalash. So he, Bhragu Muni knew that uh, Lord Shiva is also very, very angry with him now. So there's no point in staying there any longer. The answer he was looking for, he got that answer already. So he left. He knew Lord Brahma was angry with his behavior. He knew that Lord Shiva also got angry with his behavior. So they both were not patient or tolerant. And uh, Parvati, um, Goddess Parvati is telling Lord Shiva that, okay, he's a younger brother, just forgive him. So that's the kind of conversation they are having. But meanwhile, uh, Bhagavan left the place. Next, Bhagavan went to Vakunta to test Lord Narayan now. Okay, so he, he approached the Lord and then who was lying on, on his, um, so you see the Lord was lying uh, there in that um, 
um, whatever, she is Sagar, I guess. He was lying there, his head was on the top of um, um, Goddess of Fortune. She was serving him. And then what Bhagumani did is he kicked in his chest. Oh my God, see, he did it. The picture says it all. And then with that, Lord immediately opened his eyes and with the noise, ah, you know, somebody will kick you or somebody will hit you. you know, all of a sudden you will have this kind of a reaction. Oh, what happened? Or maybe you're hurt, right? So you will make the noise. But instead of becoming angry with Bhagumani, both the Lord and um, the, the goddess uh, both stood up and offered Bhagu respects because he was Bhagumani after all. And then Lord Vishnu started saying, oh, welcome, please sit down and rest for a while. Kindly ignore us, dear master, for not noticing your arrival. So this is how Lord Vishnu said. He thought that because I was sleeping and the, and the, and the goddess was serving me. So we both didn't realize that Bhagumani is there. And that is why Bhagumani got angry. So it is our mistake. If you, and then further, he's saying that, oh, your leg might, might have been badly hurt uh, because my chest is so hard. So please forgive us. So see, do you see how humble the Lord is? He's even asking for the forgiveness. And then after hearing all that, Bhagumuni went back to the assembly where all the sages were just desperately waiting for him to come back and share what he concluded. So Bhagavani is telling all the sages that uh, my answer to your question is that Lord Vishnu is the supreme. And they all started saying, Lord Vishnu, ki jai. All right. This is where the story ends, kids. Um, this is not actually the moral of the story, what I have it on the screen. It is just a you know, small purport of, um, of the story. But let me read it out for you real quick before I um, you know, open the forum for you all. So Bhagavani tested the tolerance of the Lord by purposely kicking his chest. But instead of being angry at Bhagavani, the Lord begged his pardon, saying that Bhagavani's leg might have been badly hurt because his chest is so hard. The Lord has given the foot, um, the Lord has given the sign of the foot of Bhagu Pad as the mark of tolerance. Oh my God, this is just awesome. All right, kids, so open the forum for you. And I'm going to just start um, taking your name so that you can start sharing your realizations from this story. Story. Let's start with Tanvik. Only Vishnu is the supreme. <laughs> that is so good. Thank you for sharing that, Tanvik. All right, Palvit, do you want to go next? Antaji, can Shubhadra go after Palvit? I need to raise my your hands, please. Anybody who to speak, please raise your hands. Okay, it's easier raise for me to speak that way. Lord Vishnu, um, Lord Vishnu is, is so humble. So humble. So, so Lord Vishnu is so humble, right? That's what you said, Palvit? Yes. Yes. That is correct. Maharaji. That is so correct. Thank you for sharing that, Palvit. Awesome. Um, Deepak and Kushi, do you, Deepak, oh, Kashik, sorry. Deepak, do you want to next, go next? Yes, Mataji. Um, uh, uh, my sister can go. Mataji, after Deepak and Kashi, can I go? Yeah, I'll come to, I'll come to everybody, okay? So Deepak, Kashik, come on, kids, get started. Lord Vishnu is so humble. Right. Thank you, Mahatma. Hare Krishna. Um, I learned that you should not hurt the Lord, but even you hurt the Lord, the Lord will tolerate it. Oh. Thank you for sharing that, Deepak. I really like your aspect that, okay, you were talking about uh, Lord as well. So like it. Like, thank you. All right, um, Balapranda, yes, go ahead. Balapranda? Okay, we'll come back to you then. Shubhadra, go ahead, and Girdhari. Okay, Mataji, actually, I want my brother to go first this time. Okay, Mataji, can you see? 
Go okay. ahead. Uh, the, Lord, the Lord is so humble that, that he can serve his devotees without tolerance by its, uh, his anger because he is uh, the Lord, the supreme personality of God, and so he cannot be tolerant because he's so humble and kind. He, he cannot be tolerant or he is tolerant? He's tolerant, right? And yeah, uh, he tolerant. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got um, you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mataji, yeah, actually, Lord, Lord, Lord Vishnu is very humble and kind and saying that the Gumuni's leg might have been badly hurt because his chest is too hard. And actually, he's a supreme because it, no one can kill him. Right. Thank you for sharing that. Mataji, who did lower my hand? I did it because I called out your name, Brenda, and you were not there. Now you can go. Okay. I understand that we should not even step on Lord. Um, because Lord will get, Lord doesn't get hurt, but we should not, first of all, not step on Lord, not with Lord. We have to, or we have, this is the material thing that we should not keep Lord. We should not make fun of Lord. We should not do anything to the Lord. But the, the, um, the good stuff that we have to do to the time, worship Krishna, eat prasadam, hear chanting, watch Krishna cartoon, this and chant Hare Krishna. This is what you have to do or you will not go back to Father. Yeah, I like your points. I even like you said watch Krishna cartoons. I like that. Thank you for sharing. Can I go, Mataji? This is Johnny. Yeah, Johnny, go ahead. Um, so Krishna's always tolerant and never hit Krishna. That is true. And both, both the points are beautiful. I think Ma, I have a Thank you. Um, yeah, Johnny. Um, you know how they say that Krishna has a very, very nice soft body like a lotus petal? Then why does Vishnu say that his chest is so hard? Oh, my God. That's such a beautiful point. And anybody who wants to add to this, just add it. My, um, my assumption is that... Mataji, it's Deepak. Um, so, um, Lord Vishnu's chest is hard because when he... Um, take the form of Lord Krishna, then his chest softens. So maybe. Okay, so my point to that is that, okay, Krishna is considered, uh, we always say, uh, considered uh, or compared with lotus, right? Lotus is so soft, so Krishna is considered, um, is actually compared with that. So I do not think that Krishna's chest is hard, but he just did not want to make Bragumani feel bad about what he has done, right? So he wanted to take all the blame on him and, and say that that he did not care for his arrival. He did not notice that he was there. So I think Krishna was just saying so that Prabhu Muni does not feel bad about the act he has done. Hmm. Krishna is still considered and compared with, um, with lotus. So lotus feet, lotus, everything lotus, you know? So his body is um, um, soft as well. So Brigamuni wasn't actually hurt. Brigamuni wasn't hurt. No, Brigamuni, I mean, of course, if, um, so our feet are stronger than our chest. We all know that, right? So feet is anytime stronger than the chest. So if somebody hits with, hits our chest with the feet, definitely um, the person's feet is not gonna get hurt. Your chest will get hurt because that's a softer place than as compared to your feet. So, and no. also, Mataji, he wears Kastuba jewel, right? Kastuba mm -hmm. jewel in the chest. So the, that is why he's saying maybe my jewel got hurt to your feet. That is also that. Right. Thank you for adding that, Mataji. So that could be another reason that he was saying my chest is hard. Okay, Mataji, thank you. Okay, that was a beautiful question. I love that. All right, so getting back to uh, Ram Shridhar, what do you want to share?
Go ahead, Ram. Ram Sridhar realizations from the story. I don't remember the story, but <laughs> what do you think about Lord Vishnu? You said something, right? He's very kind. Vishnu is very kind. Kindness. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you, Mata. You can go next. We should be tolerant. We should be tolerant. Only then. Only then. Krishna will like us. Only then Krishna will like us. Trina Dapi. Trina Api. Suni Chena. Suni Chena. Taro Rapi. Chano Api. Sahishnuna. Sahishnuna. So thank, you. thank you, Mother, and thank you for quoting that beautiful quote as well, shloka as well. So thank you. Awesome. All right, Tushita, you next. We should be kind, and we should be kind, and, and we should serve that Vishnu. And we don't. And we do event as well yeah no beautiful point thank you Tushita. um Vrinda do you want to go next yes um the lord acts in a wonderful way I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear you, Brenda. Do you want to repeat that one more time? The, the Lord asks, uh, acts one, wonderfully. Um, the Lord's behavior is wonderful. Oh, well, that is right. Um, the story that I heard, um, like it said that. Thank you for sharing that, Brinda. All right. Um, Kurt, okay. Anybody else at this point? Otherwise, we move on. So, Devi, yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> yes, Mataji. Krishna is tolerant, so we should be tolerant. Right. Good point. We should learn that from Krishna. Anybody else? But we, but we can never be tolerant. Yeah, right. I mean, we can't compare, but yeah, that's one thing we should learn. <clears throat> you could be tolerant. I mean, of course, we can be as tolerant as Krishna has just done with, um, or uh, Vishnu oh, has just done with. Money. We can be our best to be tolerant, but we can't be that good tolerant. Exactly. We can't be at that level, but being a little bit of tolerant is at least it's a practice, right? Everything comes with practice. We just have to practice it. We can be at that level, but we will be somewhere. Okay, kid, those were some very beautiful points. It's so, um, Brenda, you already spoke, right? Um, like I learned the Janada Peace Mechina. What? Say that again. I learned the Janada Peace Mechina. Right, thank you. All right, kid, as I said, yeah, those are very beautiful points. Um, very, very beautiful points. And I'm, I'm really impressed how you are looking at every single angle of it. You know, not just Bhirgu Muni, not just uh, Vish, Lord Vishnu, but you look at other aspects to that as well. So this is very, very impressive. At least one thing that we all, have, all can take away from this today's story is let us try to be tolerant. And we have heard, right? We have heard it many times. Um, be tolerant like um, like grass or things like that, right? You would have heard it in the past too. So yeah, let us try to be tolerant. We don't have to react or retaliate to every single thing. One thing, definitely that's a takeaway. All right, kids, with that, let's just move on. I'm going to be, you know, skipping um, the, the shloka today because we don't have time because, because Devanagari is here today. So let's do that. So we all are ready for Devanagari. Everybody get your pen and papers. Um, there are a lot of letters that we're gonna cover today. All right, we're gonna do a real quick, quick recap. Uh, 
What's that? Can I go with Kaha? I, I, I will pick everybody's name. Let's just get started. We'll, otherwise, we'll be late. So let me start. Janvi, start with Kaha. Kaha, Ki, Ki, Ku, 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 K, 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 Awesome, thank you. So, Devi, Ka? Mataji, can I do ear? We don't have ear. Mataji, can Balabrinda go? Okay, Balabrinda, go with Ka. Ka. Okay, that's great. So, David, do you want to go with girl? I didn't go. Yes, Mother G. Yeah, try girl. girl. Gee, gee, goo, goo, groo, gay guy, go gow, gum gaha. Thank you, Mother. Oh, good job. Well, with letter go. See, go, 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 that is awesome, Palvit. Thank you. Madhav, letter uh, Cha. Oh, sorry, uh, Madhaji. It was Madhav who said. It was Madhav. That is what I thought. Palvit and Madhav's voices are why do they look so similar today? All right. Thank you, Madhav. Uh, Palvit, do you want to go with letter Cha? It's my ready. Cha, cha, chi, chi, two, 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 three, che, chai, cho, cho. Thank you, Pavel. That was awesome. Letter Ch and Brenda, do you want to go with that? It's not that Cha cha chi chi chu chu chi chai chu chu cha cha. Thank you. All right, um, Deepak and Kaushiki, do you want to go with letter J? Yes. yes. Hi, hi, Krishna Mataji. Deepak, uh, what letter um, are we working on? Yeah. Letter J. Mataji, can you 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 you you. Kaushiki, do you Mataji, want can to... Shubhadra and Giridari go? Uh, Kaushiki, do you want to do letter Ch? Yes. Ch, 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 Thank you. Mataji, can Shubhadra and Giridari go? Mataji. Uh, Okay, everybody, please raise hands. I'm going to pick from here. Sushita, okay, so you can go with her. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Koshi, what is the last letter? Chamja. Did I? Sushita, you're going with her, right? That's right. Thank you. Thank you, Tishika. All right. Um, Sai Tanvi, let it go. Okay. I can't. I can see now. Awesome, thank you. 
All right, Shubhadra Giridari, letter D. Mataji, can Shubhadra Giridari go? Yeah, letter D. Da da di di do 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 de da do da da da. Awesome, thank you. Uh, Ram Shridhar, letter D. Okay. Da da di di do do de da do da dum da. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, kids, today we are picking up letter. Na? Um, I have only one letter left for today. So Madhava and Karan, right? You both want to read the last letter for today? Na, na, ni, ni, nu, 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 ni, na, no, no, na, na. Uh -huh. Mother, how about you? La na ni ni nu nu len nu nu len ne non no num no no num na ha. Awesome. All right, kids. So today, today we're gonna pick letter na, and um, well, this is a little different from every day. With na, we do not find many words, you know, many words starting with letter na, right? So I have some examples here that I have quoted, and then we're gonna just do a real quick learning on these letters, right? So Matra today. Uh, that is why it's gonna be a lot. Um, so first is na, okay, just that as a na, and in English you can write that as an a. A uh, second word one is na. So na plus a matra is na. Um, you can write that as n a a. The third one is na with e matra is ni. And in English you can write that as n i. Uh, fourth one is na with e matra. That's called ni. And in English you can write that as n e e. All right. I'm going ahead. Uh, na with u matra is nu. In English you can write that as n u. Na with u matra is nu. nu. In English you can write that as n o o. Na with ri matra is ri. How can I speak that? Uh, whatever. In English you can write that as n i u. Na with a matra is ne. In English you can write that as n e. Na with a matra is ne. And in English you can write that as n a. Um, na with O matra is no, and in English you can write that as N O. There is no way you can write na in English, right? You have to use the letter N for everything. Um, na with O matra is no, uh, in English you can write that as N A U. <clears throat> na with ang matra is no, in English you can write as uh, N A M. The last one is nang with aha matra is naha. In English, you can write that as N A H. So, kids, as I said, ha, huh, I couldn't think of any word that starts with na. So, I have some examples where na is used somewhere in the world, right? So, first one is anurakshan. Anurakshan is nothing but escorting. So, basically, you see a cop is escorting somebody. So, that's anurakshan. So, you see na is used here. Next one is rin. Rin is nothing but the loan. So loan is called rin in um in the language. The next one, next example is acharan. So again, na is used here in the end. It is nothing but conduct. So there are some examples of conduct, ethics, respect, code, honesty, integrity. So all these are conduct, right? You, you conduct well or you behave well. So how's your behavior basically is your acharan. All right, next one is Ganana. So here Ana is used in this in the middle. Ganana, which is nothing but the count. So anything that you count is called Ganana. You can talk about, see, he's, he's doing counting here. That's Ganana. You can, anything, anything, you can count votes. 
that is also ganana so anywhere you do the counting you can use the word ganana so these are just few examples of that and um we can quickly go to the whiteboard write all these letters and let's see how soon we finish it okay I'm gonna uh, quickly pull um, the whiteboard yeah. and we'll start writing. Yeah. Okay. Hey, okay. All right, kids, so you can see my screen. Well, I am a big fan of colors, so I'm gonna use colors. All right, so let's start with the letter now. It's a very simple letter. You make a horizontal and vertical line as you okay. do. And then we make a kind of a C shape, but C shape is like this, you know, what a vertical letter, but I'm gonna just draw it one more time. Like that, you see, a C shape, hanging C shape, I guess. This is your letter now. So I'm gonna start it from the, so you make C shape and a vertical line, like this. This is your letter now. Now let us do now. So again, every single time you're gonna make this letter like this and this, this is, uh, this is Rana. For now, we just make another line here. That makes your now. Third one is. Okay. So again, na letter. Make your na letter like this. Na. To make your knee, you see, you need a matra here. So I'm going to make matra here and then connect both these. Wow, this looks fancy. Lucky. Na. Letter na. And we are making ni. So this is your big E matra right here. Okay. So now next go to the next row. So no, no, re, whatever. So let's do that. <laughs> make your letter na, and then we're gonna make it no. So a small, tiny, this kind of shape at the bottom. This is no. And now we're gonna make no. So big O matra. Third one, I, no, I can't even pronounce this. So this is your na, and then a small C in the bottom. The next letter. The next letter is, um, is it na, 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 okay. Na, so make your na letter, and then A matter on the top, so that's your na. And then the last one is, Ne. So, ne means uh, two matras on the top. That makes your ne. All right. Few more. Last one is no noun. So, let's make no. Again, the same shape. No. And then you need another matra here, right? Like that. This is your no. Again, exact same shape we're going to make. And then two matras on the top is your no. There's one thing that I'm doing wrong here and kids, you don't do it because these matras should be longer than your C shape, okay? Uh, make sure we do that. Um, I was in a hurry, so I didn't do it, okay? So this C shape, the hanging C shape should be shorter than your matras, okay? I mean, these straight uh, vertical lines. Now we're making rang. So this is your C shape, your matra. Rang is just one dot on the top. And the last one for today is uh -huh. So C shape here, this here, and these are colon or two dots after that. So these are your letters for today. Mataji, I'm ready, but I need to write the the uh, the letters in English, like na na nini. Can I just do that in English? Thank you, Mataji. Yeah, you can do it. Here's your PPT. Hi, hey, Krishna Mataji. Deepak, do we have to do more mantras? No, this is all for today. Oh, I'm ready to show my matras. I'm done, Mataji. You don't. Oh, my goodness, kids. How fast are you? While I was speaking and doing, you already finished. Are you kidding? Mataji, I'm done. So, I'm done. Mataji, this is Julie. I'm done. Here's my Amatra. Um, I'll come back to everybody. Let me start with Deepak. Okay. 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 Take it a little far, Deepak. I can see all the letters. <clears throat> Deepak. 
Okay, this looks good. But yeah, take a picture and send it to me. Okay? Because I can't see everything clearly. Janvi, yes. Ji, um, it's a little... Bring it closer, Janvi. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Janvi, bring that closer. Can you um go to the whiteboard? Mataji Shubhadra is done. Can I show? Janvi, I cannot see all the letters. So Janvi, send the picture, okay, in the WhatsApp. Mataji, can Shubhadra show? Shubhadra, go ahead. Hare Krishna, I'm Mataji. Actually, um, Mataji, you my brother's copy, please. Okay, I kids. Kids, finish your work. I think done. Kids, if it's time, so we have to move on. Um, next Mataji, class starting Shubhadra. soon. Shubhadra. Okay, Shubhadra, I cannot see all the letters clearly. So, kids, everybody, yes. send your letters in the WhatsApp group. I will take a look, okay? I'm class today. We'll see you next week. Hare Krishna. Jai. Lakshmi Mataji. Jai. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you. 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 Thank you.